today we are going to see an interesting topic called insect parasitoids. What are insect parasitoids? Insect parasitoids are the hymenopteran parasitoids which parasitize other insects, especially the pests of agriculture importance. This parasitoid life, life cycle, especially the hymenopteran parasitoid life cycle is being fascinated and uh, it's an inspiration for many movie characters, especially if you see an alien creature which breeds in the human body and uh, it's coming out in, in this slide if you can see. Similarly, the, the lowermost part of this uh, slide shows that an hymenopteran parasitoid is coming out of the Lepidopteran pest. So these parasitoids are insects that oviposite or place their egg on the pest. That pest is called a host. And uh, the organisms which affect that pest or the host is called uh, parasitoids. Mostly these parasitoids are hymenopteran. They place their egg on the animal or inside the animal. Based on that it is classified as a endoparasite and uh, ectoparasites. These creatures are very much useful in biocontrol of agricultural pests. And uh, these parasitoids are classified into three categories. The first classification is based on the stage of attack of the pest species or the host species. This is in this the egg parasitoid. These parasitoids are laying their eggs on the eggs of other host and they are utilizing this protein material for their development. So this is the egg parasitoid. That is the parasitoids laying on the laying their egg on the eggs of other insects. This is egg parasitoids. Example is trichogramma species. Especially most of the trichogrammids are egg parasitoids. And the specific example is trichogramma clonus which affects the cotton bollworms, sugar cane borers and uh, leaf folders. The next type of parasitoid is called a larval parasitoid, which begins and completes its life cycle on the larval host. Especially they utilize the larvas, especially the caterpillars. They lay their eggs inside the caterpillars of other economically important pests. The best example is Braconids and uh, the specific example is Bracon bervicornis which lays its egg on coconut blackhead caterpillar. If you see the slide where this parasitoid is injecting its egg by using its specialized ovipositor and in uh, injecting its egg inside the larva. So the another type is pupil parasitoid. What are pupil parasitoids? Pupil parasitoids which lay their eggs in the pupa of other insects. They depend on the pupa of other insects. The life cycle begins and complete in the pupa. The examples are elopids and chalcids. And the specific example is trichospilus and uh, brachymerans. The next type is a uh, very efficient parasitoids which can be utilized in biocontrol of pests. That is egg larval parasitoids. They are capable of parasitizing both egg of the pest and uh, the larva of the pest. That is the here the I mean pest is host of this particular parasitoids which can utilize the, both the resources. The example is, the specific example is Kilonus blackburni, which is a braconid, which affects the cotton bowl worm. So the next classification is based on the parasitism. Here, different types of parasitism occurs. The first one is simple parasit parasitism, super parasitism, multi-parasitism and hyperparasitism. What is simple parasitism? Here, one parasitoid species is affecting the only one host. 
The example is Glyptopantelis nephatitis, parasitizing on the coconut black head caterpillar. Okay, that is simple parasitism where one host, one parasitoid. The next one is super parasitism. In super parasitism, a single individual is being affected by the same species or the different species of a parasitoid which is affecting only one individual. This is attack of a single host by multiple individuals of the same species of parasitoid that matures inside the host. Example is trichospilus species which is affecting the pupae of coconut blackhead caterpillar. The next category is multiple parasitism. In multiple parasitism, they attack a single host by many individuals belonging to different species of a parasitoids. Here the host is one single host and multiple parasitoids are affecting the a single host. Here the multiple parasitism gives a, a potential effect in biocontrol because a single species is being affected by multiple parasitoids. So example is Eriborus. Eriborus is a Eriborus genera which is coming under Eclimonidae and uh, generally the larvae of coconut black head caterpillar is being affected. That is the example of multiple parasitism. The final one is a specialized type of parasitism. It is hyperparasitism. In hyperparasitism, a parasitoid is attacking in another parasitoid. Okay, here this hyperparasitism is not useful in biological control because a parasitoid is being affected which is a, which is controlling the pest. So it is a negative effect. So what is the example of this hyperparasitism? Pleurotrophy species is hyperparasitized, hyperparasitized on the Brecon barbicornis, which is a primary parasitoid. So this Brecon barbicornis is one of the potential parasitoid working in an agricultural ecosystem, whereas this pleurotrophis is killing the Brecon. So it is a negative effect. These are the different types of parasitism. The next classification is the state of the host, how the host is behaving. So these are the two categories where the parasitoid that oviposit and let the host keep feeding and functioning quasi normally are referred as chenobionts. These chenobionts let their host to act normally and these pests are eating the crops. So these chenobionts are not uh, excellent models or the agents in biocontrol. Whereas this idino, idiobionts, idiobionts, these idiobionts are an efficient parasitoids which paralyze the host and uh, leaving them in a suspended animation where there is no activity. So it paralyzes the host and lay their eggs. They are referred as a idiobionts. These are the major classifications of parasitoids. Today we have seen a classification of parasitoids. So it is an important one. And here I would like to mention, because it's outcome-based education, you must know some aspects. What are the latest developments in this particular field? So the latest studies suggest that these parasitoids have a symbiotic relationship with the, some viruses, especially the palidinoviruses. These palidinoviruses are living in the reproductive tract of the parasitoids. Most of the parasitoids are hymenopterans, especially the VASP, which I have already mentioned. They are living in the reproductive tract of the hymenopteran and while injecting the egg into the larva, it also injects these palidna viruses which actually prevents the host immune system to affect these 
parasitoid larvae. So because their host also have the defense mechanism, here their defense mechanism of the host is compromised with the help of polynoviruses. So they have an efficient mechanism to take over the host efficiently. So these type of parasitoids are useful in biological control of economically important pest species. The another important aspect is in outcome based education. As a student, when you enter into the industry, when you seek the job, you have a scope. So, as an entrepreneur, you can enter into the industry and you can use this particular knowledge to make as a profession. So where, in this particular slide, I am showing that this is the species which I have discovered, that is Glyptopantalis sporopterae, which is a parasitic on the Sporoptera litura. This is Sporoptera litura is one of the serious pest. This serious pest is causing damage and is a polyphagous pest and serious pest. And this Glyptopantalis sporopterae is effectively controlling this Sporoptera, which is new. This is a scientific perspective. We scientists develop products whereas it is not reaching up to the ground level. There is a gap between lab and land. So as a student of biology, especially entomology, you can contribute and fill this gap where you can have a collaboration with such, action, with such labs. And if you take the technology from lab to land and if you form a company, new company where you can rear all these host species and you can sell these species to farmers. That is a, one of its practical utility of this insect parasitoids. With this, I will end this talk and hope it is useful for you and we will meet in a different session. Thank you.